Hey guys, Kevin here with your KevCam tip of the day. So today I want to go over real quick is HSS constant Z. Uh, a couple days ago we talked about doing linear and linear works very well for those surfaces that are between 0 and 45 degrees and the constant Z works best on a more vertical wall from 45 to 90 degrees, let's say. Um, so we have a pretty uh, tapered, our um, uh, drafted part right here, and I'm going to kind of show you how the constant Z works. So we'll just go ahead and add operation, do our HSS, and I pre rough this out using 3DI machine so we have a good roughing and semi finished pass. Um, so we'll do our parallel cuts, constant Z, and basically what constant Z stands for is it's constantly stepping down in the Z value, um, is what's going on. So what we'll do is go to our geometry. And we'll tell it what surfaces we want to cut here. And we'll go ahead and grab a tool. And we'll use, oops, grab that ball end mill here. So we got our ball end mill. And from right here, I can just do save and calculate, and we'll be able to see the path on there. So you can see where it's constantly stepping down in Z, the um, exact distance that I specify within the tool path uh, parameters. So I'm um, constantly going down 50 thou. Um, now one really nice thing that you guys can do with the HSS is you'll see what it does is it goes around once and then moves down. So that tool is actually coming to a stop for a split second there and that might get us a witness mark there and not as good of a finish. So what we can do to change that is go to our sorting instead of doing zigzag do spiral save and calculate again, and now you'll see that we just have one lead-in path and one lead-out path. So it's staying in constant contact with that material constantly moving in the X, Y, and Z direction all at the same time to eliminate any witness marks. So let's go ahead and play this through in our solid verify. And you can see that it's going around in a spiral fashion. Um, starting at the top and working your way down to the bottom. Um, in HSS, you do, guys do have the option to flip that around. So if you wanted to start at the bottom and work your way up to the top, but this will give you a really nice finish. We don't have any start and stops in the middle of the part. Um, we're not doing a zigzag. Uh, we're just doing a nice corkscrew spiral down. So just want to share that with you for the tip of the day on constant Z. And uh, if you get anything out of this, the constant Z is more uh, geared towards more vertical walls on surfacing, so um, and it's constantly stepping down in the value that you specify. So just want to share that with you guys today, and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.